Attention 10th graders, the PSAT will be offered at DCH October 23rd. PSAT is free for 10th graders. If you would like to sign up for, for PSAT, please complete the Google form sent to your school email by Wednesday, October 9th. Please see Ms. Lewis in the counselor's office or your English teacher for more information. October 3rd through the 8th, NIF will be here October 9th during lunch. This will be for Leatherman jackets, for sports, and for the band. Justin's will be here October 8th for senior makeup to order you your cap and gowns. They will be set up during lunch. They will also take class ring payments that day. Any paid member of Beta Club interested in attending the Senior Beta Convention, please sign up with Miss Orange Room 344 or Miss Hawkins Room 346. My name is Madison Ray. My name is Christian Moy. Today's weather is Tuesday, the 15th, a high 71 and a low 47 or 15 percent chance of rain. Wednesday, a high 70 and a low 46 and 22 percent chance of rain. Thursday, 17, high 70 percent chance, low 48 percent, 24 percent chance of rain. Friday, 18. High 72, low of 51, and 16% chance of rain. Deuces. Deuces. So, well, uh, Jason isn't here today, my partner, so it's just me for this first segment instead of his segment, but we'll, I'll probably edit this out, we never know, but anyway, uh, today's review is going to be about the Halloween franchise, um, you know, Michael Myers, you know that series, another classic, and yes, we're being lazy about this, gotta go with classics first, not everyone knows about all the newer ones coming out, like Us. Well, no, that's not a slasher. I mean, I could talk about Ghostface, but that's also really classic. I actually got to watch all of those. Um, anyway, off the topic. Um, Michael Myers is one of the most notorious slashers in filming history, if not one of the best. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, but it might have came up before Jason. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably sure I'm wrong. But... The summary of the story is, kid creeps on his sister, sees something, then something happens, or he's always been insane, and he starts killing, and he got sent to an insane asylum, then after he broke out, he started killing people. Well, to be more specific, he tried to kill his family first, failed, and then... Other movies, you know, that just wasn't very fun for everyone. But yeah, it was cool. It was a fun movie, fun series and franchises at the time. Um, the next episode, we should be talking about Resident Evil. It'll be the whole episode for episode um, six. Well, that's it. 
Hello again. It's time for me to ramble about a game you don't know and probably don't care about. And for all the seven people that uh, wonder why we didn't use a green screen, uh, the, here you go. A live lobster footage. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, let's get some vegetables in the background. All right, no cut. That's that's good. That's, yeah, good. Right. That, that's enough green screen uh, usage for one day. I think that I think the, I think we did a wonderful job. Any so this new game. That's not new, but it's new for this series. Uh, Spooky cool. Jump Scare Mansion. This game has been out for a little while. It's been out for a minute. Uh, notably, it's one of the first mascot horror games. Everyone knows mascot horror because of Five Nights at Freddy's. That's what made it famous. This game. You could argue it's in the same category. It's like a horror parody. Kind of it is a horror game, but it's also really self-aware and goofy and kind of cartoony. Uh, it has a really nice sense of humor to it. Um, it takes a bunch of inspiration from other games. Basically, it has like a bunch of individual segments that are inspired from different horror media, whether it be movies like... Uh, the thing. I think it's the thing. And it's probably. The the thing. For her. I'm not talking about the Marvel guy. I'm not talking about the Mr. Rockman. I'm talking about the thing. The swamp monster. The thing. No, yeah, no, the thing. No, just, just no, like the the alien. The thing. It like imitates people. Oh, you're talking about the the old '90s movie with the thing. Yeah, the thing. Yeah. You know the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it also takes inspiration from games like uh, Silent Hill has like a, a monster, um, Amnesia, among other things. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's just got like a funky art style. Uh, obviously, taking inspiration from a bunch of different media, it's going to be very varied, <laughs> to, to put it lightly. Uh, it's got a goofy sense of humor that I think is really snarky and self aware. Um, and it's decently popular. I mean, like a lot of people play it. And it's got multiple DLCs over the years, so it's not like there's a lack of content to play. So, uh. And just one more time, what was the game again? Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Huh? It's like on Steam. I'm gonna cost like 10 bucks. Give it a try if you can. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. Yep. Thank you for watching Trailblazer News. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're out, y'all. Deuces.